The hit series Ginny and Georgia was named number one both on Netflix and in the hearts of its many adoring fans. <laughs> but it's not always peachy between Georgia, played by Brianne Howie, and her daughter. Take a look. I said you had the flu. This is good parenting. Accio blueberries. Ginny, you need one? No. Accio syrup. You don't want to know? No. You're just gonna stroll in after a week with an air of mystique and zero explanation? Like Cher? Just let me write you a note. No, I'm fine. Bye, Austin. Bye, Paul. Bye, sweetheart. You have a good day, too. <laughs> totally normal mother-daughter <laughs> relationship. Absolutely. Very conventional. Yes, and Bree and Howie is with me now. Good to see you in person. It's last so time nice to see you in person. Yes. Yeah, last time we spoke, we were on Zoom. It's much better this way. Absolutely. Uh, but I'm loving season two. Fans Thank are obviously you. loving season two. But, you know, what do you think it is about this unconventional, mm -hmm. I would, let's say, mother-daughter relationship that people are, you know, loving and relating to. Right. I mean, first off, I'm so grateful. So many people are watching. Thank you. We couldn't do this without you guys. And I think people are recognizing themselves in these characters and these storylines. And flaws. Yes. Right? The more representation, yeah. the more we can normalize these situations, take shame away, and I think it makes people feel less alone. Yeah. Um, and I gotta say, you know, Georgia is kind of like this larger-than-life right. character, but she's relatable at the same time, but she also commits crimes. Right. So, I mean, she's, she's complicated, <laughs> but, you know, she's got a big heart at the same time. Right. So what is playing Georgia kind of taught you, do you think? You know, I think it's that life isn't as black and white as we maybe all want to think it is. Yeah. I think we live a lot of our lives in the gray area and that's kind of where our humanity lives for better or for worse that is what connects us all yeah that's true and we you know this season we kind of get to see how these characters are interacting in different ways right uh, it feels a little bit maybe more in depth with the characters right. you know how do you describe this season Oh, I would describe the, this season is a roller coaster it sure is we really there's a lot of fun new character pairings a lot of fun new dynamics that bring to light new new personalities for each character in yes. a way. You see a whole new side of, of almost every single character and a lot of fun new duos. Yes, relationships are changing. That's Absolutely. fun to watch too. Um, but we have to talk about your wardrobe. First of all, I'm oh. obsessed with your wardrobe. <laughs> I, I watch and I'm like, I wonder where that's from. I wonder where I can get that I at. nailed it. They it's always so do. Nice. You must have to like want to take those things I know, it's home. so hard. We're not allowed to until everything's done done. Oh. We obviously want to keep going. So for now, everything stays put. Yeah. For now. But you tweeted about your character's similarities with Megan, the right. killer doll. Right. I mean, did you see this immediately or did somebody point this out to you? Somebody tweeted that at me and I died. I loved it so much. I think it's so spot on. The the, the coats, the collars, the high waist. The I'm, killing. Yeah, I mean, they both definitely have a diabolical streak. So uh, yeah. just some small similarities there. Yeah, I feel like Georgia would approve. Absolutely. Yeah. I think she'd be flattered, honestly. I think she would be flattered yeah. too. But you're on Jimmy Fallon and you were talking, sharing this story that um, when you ran into Hugh Jackman right. and one of his kids and he said, you know, say goodbye to Brienne or whatever because yeah. she's going to be a big star someday. Has he reached out? Have you heard from him? Oh my gosh, no, no, I have not heard from him <laughs> or no, no, not yet at least. I mean, it'd be nice to have him on season three of Ginny and Georgia, don't you oh. think? Oh, like now that's a good idea. We, yeah. you know, throw another one in the mix. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, but you also competed on Celebrity Jeopardy. I actually told my producers about this this morning, so I was like, I just saw her the other day on Celebrity Jeopardy. You did? I did see that. Oh, my that. God. Okay. I mean, nerve-wracking, Yeah, right? to say the least. Look, it was way more fun once I got there. And, of course, it was all in the name of charity. And I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity. But that buzzer. But. That was my downfall. And of all the things that I thought could potentially be my downfall, it was not the buzzer. But here we go. Yeah. It was definitely the buzzer. So you were slow on the buzzer? I was too fast. See, yeah, I, I, yes. I would do that. I would the be way too fast and then yeah. not know. They kept coming up to me saying, you're overly anticipating the buzzer. And I was like, story of my life. I yeah. know. I, yes. Okay. Yes. Well, I can totally relate to that. So. I enjoyed watching you, though. It was a lot of Thank fun. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I love watching Ginny and Georgia. And if you haven't started, you will, too. You can catch season two of Ginny and Georgia streaming on Netflix now.